welcome welcome guys welcome to sabram youtube channel thank you for the subscription thank you for the likes thank you for the comments i really appreciate that now it's another day it's a new day as we are counting days to dv 2025 and before that i decided to do this video so that i can tell you what you are supposed to do before submitting your entry in dv 2025 it is very bad for you just dv 2025 to come and get you unprepared so in this video i want to share information that you need to have before dv 2025 currently one of the key things that you require for the next diver the coming diversity lottery is a photograph you only need a photograph that is a passport photograph and it is not just a passport photograph it is a special passport photograph maybe in your phone you have a lot of photographs in your email you have a lot of passport photographs but i'm very sorry because you cannot use those passports because the diversity visa programs requires a passport that is not more than six months old so for example the passport that i used in dv 2024 i cannot use i cannot use it in dv 2025 reason being it is almost one year old so it is not advised to use that passport photo again so it will require me to go and take a new passport photo there are a lot of information about passport photo and i want to show you how what are the specific requirement for a diversity visa passport so I will this is the official website always note that i always receive information or i always get information from the dv program state that is the official website so in this in this case I, you will come and click here to the travel.state.gov and uh, you will click here to us visas then come here to immigrate once you have rendered in this page you will go to diversity visa so that you can see the photo that you need then you can click here to prepare for an interview and uh, as you scroll down you can see here you can see information related to photographs here photographs so you can click this link so that you can see information that in all the information about photograph now the dv2025 photographs those are the requirement passport photographs those are the requirements first your passport photo must be in color it should not be black and white it should be in color and secondary you must wear just the normal clothes things you should not wear maybe for example if you are a military officer you should not wear the military uniforms unless those are maybe for example muslims muslims are allowed to wear wear their hijabs but in other cases kindly wear just normal clothes then the size of the head must be 60 50% to 69% of the entire photo and the photo must be it's a 2 by 2 and should be 600 by 600 megapixel and uh, it should be it should not exceed 240 kilobytes or 240 kbs so make sure you go through the instructions the 
photograph instruction because many people are disqualified in DV lottery because they don't have the rigid photograph or the, the photographs they are submitting it doesn't mean it doesn't meet the US requirement. Secondly, your photo must have a white background. You should not have a blue, red background. No, you should not. Then the other thing is you should not wear glasses unless you have it is a prescribed glasses and you have a proof that you cannot take a photograph without glasses. But if you can remove your glasses and take a photograph, then well and good. You should, you should remove them. Then another thing you are supposed to do, you can take a photograph and then test that photograph in the US Embassy, US travel.state.gov to see whether it meets all the requirement. For example, you will come in this website. Remember, we are under photograph. Those are the photographs requirements. Then you will come here. There is, a, as you can see here, sorry for interruption. As you can see here, the photograph must be in JPEG equal or less than 240 kilobytes. It must be square and 600 by 600 megapixels. It must be a two by two inches and scanned at a resolution of 300 pixel per inch. So once you have, you have your passport photo, just come and upload it here. Start photo tool. Click there. Once you click there, then upload your photo here. Choose a photo. Then I will use my personal photo, for example. Let me go with this. As you can see, it says that your photo does not need cropping photo dimensional 600 by 600. So this means that this photo is, it is good and no editing, no cropping that is required. So if I were to apply DV lottery today, I can use this photo. But this is the photo that I used in the previous diversity visa lottery. So I cannot use it, but it is a good photo and it qualifies to be used in a diversity visa program. So guys, I'm emphasizing more on photo because if you submit a long photo, your chances of being selected are minimal. So take note on that and kindly do as required pertaining photograph. The other thing you need to know is that a diversity visa is not free. You need some cash once you have been selected. So you need a lot of money. There are people who have the mentality that diversity visa is free. People have that notion, but it is long. Diversity visa, it is not free. It is your responsibility to finance yourself until you reach to the United States. So thank you guys for watching this video. Keep subscribing, keep watching and uh, thank you very much.